Generic greetings and welcome to Black Skylands. Today's beverage is a nice traditional cup of tea, the perfect beverage for running around shooting stuff and flying airships, which is good because that's exactly what this game is about, among other things you understand. Either way, welcome to Black Skylands. This is a top-down action adventure game set in a skypunk world, they call it. It's not steampunk, it's not dieselpunk, they call it skypunk, and I think that's a very adequate description. We are all about airships here, that's, <laughs> that's the main takeaway thing. Everything flies, everything floats, and... Um, yeah, airships. So naturally I was going to check this out because I have a fascination with airships. I think it goes back to uh, Crimson Skies uh, back in the day. But yeah, either way, I digress. So I had this on my radar for quite some time. It is, as of the time recording, now out into early access. I believe things like the uh, like the mechanics, the art, all that sort of thing is final, but it, the story's only about halfway there. So what you see in the game is pretty much half of what they plan on adding. So what I want to do in this video is briefly touch on the setting and the story and then I'll show you the moment to moment of flying an airship and fighting and then doing some ground combat as well. So, brief story, uh, everything is set in the skies and floating and airships and that alike for reasons that I'm not entirely sure, I don't know if it's explained yet or what, but either way it floats, that's all you really need to know. And then because of certain actions of your family, there's now some beasties turned up. Uh, I think sort of Tyranid invasion type horribleness and because of all that everything's gone uh, chaotic and you know basically there's loads of warring factions now. So that's where the actual like sort of moment to moment of the game comes in where the islands are around here owned by different factions and you have to take control of them for yourself and yeah that's why it's sort of an open world survival game as well. So I not really open world sandbox I think is more accurate yeah um, so you will be taking control of islands you'll have to defend them as well because they will be invaded and you've got this like say open world aspect to it but it's also as I mentioned at the start not finished because well early access either way I'm going to show you uh, probably me taking over hopefully this glutton island I have a mission to go over here to the moth's nest but I don't know if we'll get over there in time but we'll just uh, try and take that and get resources and things like that the resources you will use for upgrading your airship which I've not yet done but also building different weapons and different modifications you can also farm as well this place where we start by the way is called the father ship and it's got the profile of Battlestar Galactica and that is a observation not a complaint I should point out let me just carry uh, this resource to the warehouse there this is our farm and I'm just gonna put some more stuff on the farm we also have a grappling hook as well Hello. which is uh, very useful for getting places um, specifically onto different islands and over uh, over to uh, you know sections that would otherwise be unreachable if you fall off then you have a sort of grace period where you can use your grappling hook. So for example, I can just fall off here, but I do have a grace period to use my grappling hook to sort of get back on there. After that, you'll start losing health, and then eventually this uh, moth that is following us will rescue you. There's a whole uh, section about what the moth is and things like that, but we're not gonna, we're not gonna go into it. It really is uh, irrelevant for for this little video here. But yeah, I'm just gonna, while I'm here, just get clear some of this debris. There was a recent attack and yeah, you need to clear it. But this is where, you know, you can sort of chill. And I immediately like the idea of this because you've got all these plots that you can build like, you know, workshops and bars and uh, things like that. I assume more stuff's gonna be added in the future as well. But I like that we've got already this this goal of, well, this place is wrecked and you, you know, you need to put it back together. And I do like that. There's also different characters to meet in and around this place as well. But as I said, the main thing Thing at the moment is to reach the moth's nest but i'm gonna get on my airship which is currently stock i have not upgraded this or done anything with it at all um i'm gonna head over most likely to most likely to here so i'm gonna place a marker down there and i will get on the airship in terms of uh ui for the airship it's quite simple let me just come off this one and you can see we've uh, <laughs> undocked there we've got our health on the bottom right as well as fuel and repair kits and the amount of ammo that we have and also throttle as well so currently throttle is set to zero so we can also uh, rotate the weapons as well left click will fire the left weapon right click as you may imagine will fire the right weapon and there's loads of weird stingray type things going past these are some like asteroid chunks which if you shoot them you can get like some resources off uh, but i don't want to fire too much because well basically i not got unlimited resources 
Uh, speaking of resources, we do have a currency in the game. It's this purple crystal thing on the show on the top right. 946 is what I have currently, but you can and will find these like little bits like there, and you can smash into them. You'll also get them off enemies as well. So let's just keep heading over to my destination, which is over here. I'm just going to uh, rotate the guns. You can see I'm rotating them around here just to allow us to you know, get past. I love that all these rocks are simulated as well, so you see them like knocking out the way and such. So that's fairly cool. We also find uh, along our route like different floating, like sort of abandoned, uh, like abandoned airships and such. And often there are resources, and that's a massive something on the bottom left there with two glowing eyes. It looks like I don't know if it's a turtle or I have no idea. Either way, I'm going to get off this and I'm going to board this uh, board this other vessel because it does have a repair kit and hang on, let me get grab hold of that. Harvest repair kit and there we go. Oh, we have to carry it first, although you can use your grappling hook to grab onto it if you weren't able to uh, reach it. There we go. And we've salvaged some stuff. Legitimate salvage, that legitimate salvage. Uh, it says go fishing on these things here as well. Not tried that. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, don't know why I would want to go fishing, but you know, there's always the option there. So coming close to our destination. There is a full day-night cycle in the game as well as weather. And ah, oh, so we have. I can see some enemies down there. I know they're enemies because they're not us and they're holding a gun. So we can fire on them from our airship. And it seems a bit unfair, to be honest, <laughs> firing it from our airship. But there you go. We have an airship there, don't. That means. Oh, I think someone's just fallen off. Actually. Oh dear. Uh, I'm just going to um, get off here. This is this is um, the, the the guns obviously use ammo, but they also have a have like a, a heat level as well so we need to make sure it's all cooled down which uh, we've done I'm gonna put that in there and gather one of those what's over here all right what I did there was I rolled off the edge to get closer and then did that and then went further ahead you also find these berries which can do different things so that increases damage and looks like this is fairly clear so I can't reach that but I can roll off and <laughs> go Go like that. This is weird, the island, all of the ground. Hmm. Anyway. Uh, oh, didn't mean to do that. Put that back. Right. Turn and we'll head see if we can dock up. And, oh, it looks like there is a, a dock here. But there's also a couple of people uh, around the outside. And, yes, we have a weapon system in place here, which is looks like be a rocket launcher. So I'm just going to stand back and fire away here, which is pretty good. Obviously, you can equip later on your airship with different types of weapons and uh, different upgrades and modifications. I've not yet done that at the moment because, well, I haven't got the ability to yet. I don't have the, the factory. What I do have the ability to do is just to dock up here, and then I'm going to uh, use my grappling hook to get across, and this guy's got shotguns. Okay, well, I also have a shotgun. And, um... Oh, hang on. If you roll at the right time, you can basically dodge all the bullets. So, there you are. Ah. Just dodging these. <laughs> and what I did there was uh, fire at him with the grappling hook, pull him off the edge, and then he fell. <laughs> right, let's hold um, V to heal up. I'm going to go back to front here. So it looks like to open these up, you need batteries. So I have seen batteries over here. And there we go. That's full. But we do have a battery. Right. Let's come back. And if I open up this one... That'll give us either battery. You can melee, as you've seen there. And, ah, oh, hang on. Let's go here. If you melee an enemy, you they drop ammo. Place the battery down. And this is ominous that's going to give us this option. Increases health regeneration. Okay, fine. So we've got a melee enemy here. Just reloading. Yeah, they're really not too much of a problem in once. Hide behind here. 
They can't see us, and that's a boss. So I'm just going to sneak behind them. So I caused loads of damage there. Might not look like it, but I caused loads of damage from being in the back. Oh, I'm running out of ammo. Right, switch over to machine gun. And we now got some scrap metal. Right, so yeah, that was like a... I wouldn't call it a boss, more of a lieutenant. A middling enemy. Um, but I am running out of ammo. Lots of resources to find here. Are you not? Good. I guess I have to reach the moth's nest. But this is really a lot of what you'll be doing. Going around... Oh, there's some ammo there. For our shotgun, I believe it was. Yeah. Get those on this. So, note, efforts to compile the great historic encyclopedia resulted in the destruction of four historic memorials to the veterans of the Cloud War. Several manuscripts written by captive Asparians and 18 bottles of Erna's wine. Yeah, there's, I think there's, like, the names of the different, like, factions, like, Erna's and Guards and that sort of thing. And, oh, what is that? That seems fairly cool. That is a mod box tier one. Return to father ship with the mod box. I will do that, yes. Only, however, once I've got this so pick that up just to, just to destroy all of this just to grab some uh, more resources can i do the same here yeah and i don't know if i've i don't know if i've got the island completely pacified but i'll find out in a moment uh, i think our hall's getting fairly full <laughs> you can see you can use your grappling hook for pretty much anything And we have not pacified the island, by the look of it. So is there something else where? Curious. Mm. I think it is pacified. It might just be... Because we don't have a mission to come here. We just turned up because I could. Unless, as we head round, we'll find more enemies. Oh, hang on. I just noticed. We have this big cannon over here. So, guns forward. Guns front. And... Is that it? No more enemies here. The island can now be considered defended. Yes. There we go. So, this is now ours. And we gain a certain amount of um, people from it as well. Let's just go over here. Ah, we lost those resources. Shame. And, hello. So we now have people that are working here, by the look of it. They've moved in quick. <laughs> right. Uh, that's damaged. Let me just repair that. Yeah. Oh, oh, look at that. That's cool. The guy on lookout. Got like a little telescope there. Let's spin around and we'll go back to here. I wonder if there's any people there. Can't see them. Anyway, we need to reach the moth's nest. Do I want to do that? Or do I want to go back? I think we... Probably... Well, we'll go at the, we'll the nest. We'll go at the nest. How are we doing for ammo? 149 ammo, by the look of it. And two repair kits. I think we'll be alright. He says. But I have no idea if that's the case or not. Speed of the repair kit, though. I don't like that that's always blocking you when you get off it, because then you have to end up going around, and there's a amount of times I've ended up accidentally... Um, <laughs> Falling off the edge. Oh, hang on. That's a big rocket. Uh, right. That's that's a problem. Ow. Ow. Right, okay. This is this is a problem. So we're getting shot at by... By who? Someone over there. Uh, that's where it's a bit of a problem because I can't see them. You can see where the shots are coming from. Oh, there they are. Gun's over. Heated. Hang on. Spin around. Right. I think we probably will <laughs> go home now, actually. Right, let's gather the resources. So, gather that. Put it in the box. Go over here. 
and then put that in the box. And because this thing is damaged, I've got, I know I've got three repair kits, but I'm going to go back. I think it's fair to go back because you get you know, all the health back and such. As I mentioned, there is a day-night cycle. Different weather as well. Things to find and collect and unlock. What was that? Coal. I think that's coal. Might as, well grab, might as well gather that. There you go. Helm's almost full now. And back we go. You press space to look around, it says. But, well... Don't know. <laughs> Pressing space, nothing's happening. Oh, I uh, missed out on this. Spin the ship around. Oh, dearie, mate. Okay, we just... just yeah, back into the back of that. Uh, how far am I from... Oh, not far away at all. There's a repair kit coming here. New objective. Place the mod box. Let's harvest the repair kits. Can't have too many repair kits. Unless you can actually have too many repair kits and you can't st stack them. Do they stack? They do stack, which is exactly what you want. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Right, head back. See the lights come on there as well. Back to father ship. Nice detail in like the engines and stuff. And it's just actually a nice looking game, I think. Let's go back. And there we go. Right. So now that we've visited this, I'm going to go here and move everything to the warehouse. So warehouse, warehouse, warehouse. Uh, what's that? Scrap metal, warehouse, warehouse. And I want to take that. And it says, place it in the mod box. Okay. Oh, shotgun butt. Four types of mods. All right. Let's... Let's have a look then. Equipment. Shotty. And we can go for a shotgun bud. It seems to decrease reload time and increase critical multiplier. Nice. There's our skyship, and you can see all of the stuff on it. Fuel tanks and engine sails, etc. So journal. Um Yeah, it is just reach the moth's nest. Okay, we're gonna do that then. So actually before I do that. I think we'll buy some more ammo, don't you? Also do a bit of farming as well. As we go past. I like that you can just put the crops in the ground and wander off. And you come back and they're all done. So, one, two, I think I'll buy three sets of ship's ammo. And we're going to put in some flax. There we go. Don't know what I'm going to need them for. Flax, cotton, things like that. But I've been farming them. Might as well put them in. Takes 10 minutes for that. Okay, good. Right, we will head off. And hold back. And it should just fire us out like that. <laughs> so we know that the island we're passing is pacified anyway, so we don't have to worry about that. There may be some boxes to find on the way there, like these things. I'm not going to be too uh, critical of it. Like, if I hit them, if, I, if we meet them, then fair enough. Oh, hang on, look at that. So we've got an enemy here. It's, uh... Well, again, it seems a bit unfair that we're shooting him with a ship weapon, but there you are. He's, he's, like, flying with this, like, backpack on and stuff. And... Over there. Okay, fine. Just trying to see make a couple of detours now and again if I see these things. Damn it, missed it. Okay. I mean, I could use the cannons. I mean, that's what they're there for. Actually, they're there for, for defence, but... Yeah, it's fine. Oh, there's also a bloke here. I wonder what happens if you ram them. Oh, well, they don't like it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, they're probably not that... They're probably the opposite of ambivalent. <laughs> they're probably, go on record and state, that they're not too fond of being rammed. Like that. Airship's taken a little bit of damage, but nothing we can't repair. Okay, the Falcons here are better armed, better armed than usual. Need to make new armor, belt bag, and boots in the armory. Okay. 
So messenger moth, a little moth with a note around its neck flew up to you. Someone in Aspire got this message. Help. My name is Oswald and I'm the elder of the moth's nest. The entrance is blocked by Cain's falcons. It's Grandpa Oswald. God, I need to help him. Right. Moths can carry enormous weights. I think I need to find moths in here and help me clean up the obstructions. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, whoa, right. So, there's a lot of stuff around here. Oh, and a lighthouse as well. I like the little overview that it's showing us there. You can see there's lots of cages and such. And there's the centre of town which we have to reach. Right. Enemy power. All enemies also have an equipment power. And ship power indicator that displayed the map. Your power parameters are lower than the enemy's power, power, power parameters. A red skull icon will appear above their health. Such enemies will be extremely difficult to defeat without increasing your power parameters. Okay. Let's see what it says about then. It did say that we were underpowered for this one. So I shall see. I can hear things reloading, but I'm not seeing any enemies here. Let's just get off this. Hmm. Yeah, I'm seeing red skulls. So, I'm not too confident that we can probably make this a great success. Oh! What the hell's that? No idea what that is. Is it a person? No, it's a cannon. Luckily, cannons point one way. <laughs> Shouldn't have been that close, actually. Took a bit of damage, but there you are. Um. Hmm. Well, that gate is definitely closed. I'm tempted to maybe just circle around a bit and see what we can do in terms of just gathering some resources and then we'll go back. We can also go to another island if need be. We just might be too far on. Oh yeah, see that? There's a skull above that enemy's head. And, oh, there's lots of enemies. Right, okay. Okay. Shooting them with a ship gun hardly did a thing. But, the advantage is... <laughs> he can't shoot his back. So I can use as much time as I need. Gun's overheating. Gun has overheated. You can get off and then cool the gun down like that. What a shot. Beautiful. Right, I'm going to see if I can take out this enemy myself. Prepare. In fact, you know what I'm going to do? Oh. Oh, that's a sniper. Ow! Right, okay, okay. We're leaving now. We're leaving. We're leaving. We're leaving. No, we're not. We're dead. Ah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that hurt. So we were knocked down and then rescued. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go somewhere else. Uh, <laughs> so, yes, I think that is telling us that we shouldn't be here. I guess we could go over to this place. There's lots of places we could go to. That's a fort. We can't go there. Unlikely we can go there. These wing islands, but... Uh... Oh, unknown signal. Oh. A new request. Unknown signal there. I'm going to go and... I'm going to check out the unknown signal. Luckily, these guys here are not very strong. I love being able to just rotate the guns like that. Oh, mines! They're mining the sky. I mean, it makes sense as anything in the game. Ah, fuel. How are we doing for fuel? We're okay. Quick navigate between open fuel stations to do this talk the owner of the fuel vessel. So hang on, can we just go... Uh, Buy something, let me go somewhere. And we can say, right, I want to go to that one. Travel here. Yeah, there you go. 
quickly travel, why not? Very tempted to try and liberate that island. That is lo there's loads of wood over there. Hmm. No point in repairing that yet. And what's that? Asteroid coal. And looks like not just asteroid coal, but some other resources as well, I think. I'll have a quick look. I need to get back because I've, I've, I've lost my health anyway. Oh yeah, it's asteroid coal and some scrap. So there's been some... Some sort of nonsense going on. Oh, okay. So, you see it's popped up there on the... On the top left. Glutton Island is under attack. We have a certain amount of time to defend it. 15 minutes. So what I'm going to do is head back. Where is that island? It's down here, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Well, that's under attack. So I'm going to head back to the airship, father ship. If I can find it. Here it is. And we're coming in just the right place as well. I'm going to see about maybe healing up. There we go. And maybe getting some more mods. Then we're going to go and defend the defend the other area. Um, no, not that one. This one. Equipment. Light armor, light belt bag, light boots. Ah, damn it, not enough resources. So... Ship hold, scrap metal, asteroid coal, and copper ore. Although, I want to hold that because I want to. Hang on. I need to pick that up. Put that in there. Can I just interact it this way? I think I can. Oh, yeah, process copper. What do I need for that? I need flax. Ah, right. Okay, fair enough. I've got the backstab upgrade. you got to see like different energy and stuff you can get there. And there's our copper ore. I'm going to assume if I sleep to get my health back, my lives back should I say, Will the island just be there when I come back? Yes, it is. Yes, yeah. so it does, the countdown doesn't skip ahead. So I've got my health back when I came to the island. Now I've got my extra life back. Good. And a bit little well for the flax. Is this flax growing? I think it is. Um, we might. I think we'll have enough time. We'll have enough time. We'll wait until that's done, so then we'll go and defend the island. What else do I perhaps need? I really like a ship workshop. Allows you to acquire ship, skyships, components, cannons and upgrades in a bar. Drink here to get a temporary boost. <laughs> is that how it works? <laughs> beer muscles, is that what I was telling you? We, we can just get beer muscles. <laughs> Good grief. I'm going to hold this to clear all of the stuff and... Oh, it looks like all the lights have been turned on in this place. Yeah, we'll clear all this up. I don't know why there's so many plots, yet so few buildings. Like, it doesn't seem that we... Like, we'll probably only need one airship wor wor workshop or skyship, they call it. Um, and only need one... One building to craft items. I mean, yeah, we probably need multiple farms and maybe multiple um, multiple smelters, but even then, can't imagine we need more of the space, but then, you know, early access we don't know what's going to be added in the future. Needless to say, clearing this I see we've got some resources off it. But yeah, clearing this is a worthy endeavour. Just kirk rolling everywhere. Upgrade or demolish. It's, it's maximum level. 
Can access the next, next class of personal equipment. Well, I don't think we need that. 28 seconds. What do we need to repair these? Scrap metal. There we go. <laughs> Finally repairing big holes in the ground. Ah, we need more scrap. That's a shame. Um, what I'll do is I'll head back here Hello. and I'll get some cotton seeds because I know I'm going to have to replant anyway. So those are now done. We'll harvest those. Put that in the box. Put those in. Head over to our factory here and get... Ah, oh, we need more. <laughs> I needed scrap. Oh, well. Nah, it is what it is. Right, we need to go back and defend the island then. We've got 10 minutes to do it. We should be alright. Just a shame I don't have that stuff there. So, back out. And... Turn the boat around. We'll head over. Max power, max speed. We're only stopping it if we absolutely have to. I'm going to put a marker over there. Uh, space to place marker. I don't know why space. Why don't I just click, click on the place? There you are. Looks like the rain may be dying down a bit. Looks like maybe I'll see the sun through the clouds as well. We might have a little break through the clouds here. Oops. <laughs> There's uh, some repair stuff, but I'm not stopping, as I mentioned. And we'll go this way off for that. Take them out. And yes. Back to position one. So gather this. Get me both going. Increase damage to the Falcons. Roll off. Grab that. Oh, got a sniper. So yeah, there's still civilians hanging around. But obviously they're taking that over. That's bad. That's bad. Ah, so this is where it's a bit dodgy now, because that is obviously an airship, <laughs> and it's stuck, and that's a big bomb. If that hits me, I can't imagine my health prospects would be too good. Oh yeah, that's really not liking that being there. That, that's very glitchy. Um, but we'll gather the resource, why not? And we'll put that in there. Right. To the main island. This one behind us as well. Don't know how... Which they'll follow us, but there you are. Oh, there we go. Bit of a... <laughs> a, no, uh, a very unceremoniously uh, bit of dock in there. And they are ransacking the place by the look of it. And there we go. No more falcons here. Now con considered defended. I'm going to get a flag. Yeah. So I think that'll be... All right for a while now. Defended, yeah. And there's the flag. So you can put that wherever you need to. And who's this? Alistair, thank you. Here's your reward. Some oil capsules. Don't worry about it. You need this more than me. Ah, that's nice. Then we've got some... Got some oil. Cool. And that increases health regeneration. But yeah, um... I think then, we will probably... I mean, short term, I need to get more resources and... Is that scrap? That is scrap. I need to get resources and I need to upgrade my equipment in order to be able to take out stuff on the moth's nest. Realistically, we could also go over here and have a look there to see what that is like. But I think that's fairly representative of what you'll be doing in Black Skylands, a fair moment to moment of basically going from island to island on your, on your skyship or airship, as you're calling it. Out. There we are. And obviously fighting these these enemies on the different uh, islands that we go between. Can I get on here? Probably can. I'm going to have a quick look. There's no skulls above their heads, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. I'm going to go with... No, we're okay. Pistol. That's not a pistol. That's a pistol. Hmm. 
Okay. I'm reverting back to type shotgun. <laughs> It takes a while to reload. Sorted. I should have pointed out that I'm not really very good at these uh, like top down games. Like Hotline Miami and stuff, I always wanted to like, but was terrible at it. Uh, is there anything else to really gather here? Well, I'll gather that. Stone. It's not really a massively precious resource, but it is a resource. Um, I'll head round. Yeah, we'll head round. Why not? Oh, okay. There's, it, it's... Ah. Yeah, it basically stops here. We've cleared this bit out before, but getting inside is going to be the the big one. But anyway, yes, that's um, that's a bit of Black Skylands. Uh, overall thoughts and feelings, very positive. Very positive indeed. As I said, I was looking forward to checking the game out when it uh, when I first saw it. I thought, yeah, it's airships. We've got like airship combat, modifications, upgrades, all this stuff that I really enjoy. And I appreciate the customization part of it. And I thought the only thing that may... Not necessarily let it down, but something that I probably won't get away with would be the actual combat because it's quite fast paced. But because you can, you've got these different weapons, because you can sort of dodge and weave and roll and, you know, do that sort of thing, it's uh, it's a lot more forgiving than I, I really thought. And I love the grappling hook, <laughs> I really do. Uh, the big problem I have is that it isn't finished. And normally that wouldn't really, I wouldn't really care too much. Like, you know, I play a lot of early access titles, as does, uh, as does many people. But the big difference is I know I'm going to get to a certain point that I'm, I'll be right into the game, really enjoying it, and be, oh, uh, the story doesn't go any further, um, which is a shame. But, you know, it is what it is. So my take is probably to keep playing. And obviously do the, like, because just, I'm just loving being in the world and exploring and I love the sandbox nature of the game and the fact that we take control of these islands and such. But I don't know how long it's going to get to a point where I just can't go any further. I mean, if all of this is in, which it looks to be there, there's probably a lot here. So I can't really, yeah, complain about that too much. But it'd be really horrible to get to a point where you're right into the game and, oh, actually, that's as far as the story takes you. But... That may be, long, uh, may be a long way off. So, yeah, Black Skylands. Very, very much enjoying. Um, I'm just surprised on what's here. I, I didn't expect a day-night cycle. I didn't expect uh, the weather and all this customization and these islands for us to, you know, to explore and find and get all the little story of it. So, yeah, overall, very positive. Looking forward to playing some more. We'll be playing more. If you want to see more, then by all means, let me know. I don't know how much of a sort of serious potential it has but I certainly would be up for it because like I said very much enjoying this thing and you know airships and all that <laughs> I do like my airships either way if you like what you see then by all means check the link out in the description and you can check the game by yourself and if you want to see more by all means let me know if you have any suggestions for what we could have done better or maybe things to upgrade or what you would like to see you know done or whatever then by all means let me know and as always we'll have a discussion going and that is there's a rifle and an SMG I very much prefer Ooh, special shotgun barrel. No, stop playing. Right, okay, hope you have enjoyed it. <laughs> if you want to see more balloons, let me know. <laughs> Comments in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.